I think all growth and development and performance happens at the intersection of high challenge, high support. So Marilyn, think of it as someone in your life, a parent, a coach, a teacher, a boss who got more out of you than you ever imagined you could do. In the moment, you might not necessarily like that person. <laughs> they knew, they thought you were better than you thought you were. So high challenge, if you think about a two by two matrix, challenge, support, high, low, high, low. Well, obviously, you know, too much support, not enough challenge, we're in our comfort zone. We don't grow, we don't push up. This is unfortunately the culture. My children grew up here in the education system in Concord, Massachusetts, where everybody gets a trophy, nobody gets cut from the hockey yeah. team. I'm not sure if the world doesn't work that way. In fact, I mean, I think the pendulum swung way too far around self-esteem. Look, you can't give someone self-esteem. You actually has to be earned. And I'll use a really crazy example. My oldest son, Sean, came home, fifth grade, had a one-page story that he wrote, a little smiley sticker on the top. I went to see his fifth grade teacher. I said, Sean brought this home. He goes, yeah, isn't that nice? Sean wrote a story. I said, yeah, but there's no there's sentence structures out, punctuation's wrong, a lot of misspellings. He says, oh, we don't want to hurt his little feelings. You know, I... <laughs> like fifth grade right you know it's i get yeah. it so too much support not enough challenge we're in our comfort zones we don't grow too much challenge not quite enough support we freeze we paralyze we don't engage we don't take any risks right we we, yeah. we just freeze up right and so all you high challenge high support call it tough love does it better be loved or feared is this question mm -hmm.